This week on YMH. This is probably the greatest thing I've found on social media in a long time. Let's yeah, see what these so guys are putting out there. Good. And just so you, ladies, when you're listening right now, you're watching, <laughs> these guys are available. And yeah. would you go hard every meal? Were you like a big, like you just would just. Like, enjoy. how did I get this fat? I mean, like. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Uh, oh! <laughs> hey, I, I see four uh, laughs. Hold on. Yeah. That might have just been a part of the show. Yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is sponsored by Sattva. Go to sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off your next purchase. And we are back. Welcome to another episode of Your Mom's House. I slept a lot. I'm Tommy Buns. She's Christine. How are you? I'm so good. You slept like the dead. Yeah. And normally I hear you ripping. You did not even rip. I know. You were like a log, dead log. It was crazy. Yeah. What happened to you? You're just finally home and so relaxed. So relaxed. I also slept uh, nothing the night before. Yeah. So I went to bed really late, got up early for a flight. And um, you know those days where you sleep like three, four hours? For, and then, yes. And then so when I finally got to bed, it was just other level. Yeah. Horrible. I and was, I put my mouth tape on. Oh, you're hostile. That's yeah. why you didn't rip. Yeah, I put mouth tape on. Oh man, that stuff's that the best. That stuff really works. I, it really, really works. works. I woke up with my mouth wide open. Yeah. Was I ripping? Couldn't tell you. I, I was, was on another, my back. Like, I was in uh, another dimension. Yeah. It was great sleep. I was talking to a guy who was um, telling me about military training mm -hmm. when you're in the army and you do your, what is that, when you, you boot camp? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, they sleep deprived you for days. I'm like, oh, oh, man, I remember when I was in training before <laughs> I went overseas. It was really, really rough. Yeah. They sleep, they would come in at like, 5 a.m. playing drums mm -hmm. and get us all in line and just have us, you know, go on like a run immediately, sit in the cold water by the ocean. It was crazy. We did that was wild. Is that, was that for your SEAL training? Yeah. That's when I was, yeah, I was in bud school. And then, then when I was in army ranger school, we would like, they'd wake us up and make us parachute at like five o'clock. Wow. And that's crazy. tough because, but a good thing you did it when you were young. Yeah. Because imagine doing it at this age. No, I mean, I'm able to still obviously participate because I go yeah. at different combat zones. But yeah, all my training was. But I was going to say that all this training that you did in your 20s is mm -hmm. now paying off paying because off. I feel like you can take the sleep deprivation and the time zone exactly. changes yeah. because you've been trained as a Navy SEAL. It's all in the training. It's what I tell people. It's all in the training. If you're not, mm -hmm. if you're not willing to do the work to train, you're not going to. You're not going yeah. to. You're, you're not going to. Champions not gonna are made in the practice field. <laughs> um, there's a, there's a lot to go over. I feel like we should kind of get. Oh moving. my gosh, I can't wait! I'm so I'm very excited I found for today's some, guests and yeah, yeah. The guests are amazing, but even more so, I found some incredible talks that yeah. I'm just chomping at the bit to share. Here we go. The vagina starts to mature between <laughs> 29 for early bloomers and 35 for late bloomers. Really? Yes, and that's why you find mature women mature in regards to the structure of it and then the texture and how it feels. And yeah. that's why you find women who are in their 40s will always have tastier vaginas than women in their 20s. Tastier. Tastier. <laughs> tastier. The people, who can, the people who can confirm this are the younger guys who are going for the older women who are apparently called cougars. These are facts. Yeah. Facts. This is just fact. <laughs> facts. Science, brah. That shit is big time. Who is Ryan? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking <laughs> Facts. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. <laughs> welcome to your mom's house. Mom, 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 mom. Machua. <laughs> Babe, my my vagina's tastier than the twenty year old vagina. I don't believe that. Uh, I don't. I hey, don't buy that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, here, let's put it this way: 
Hold on, oh, I, haven't, to me. I haven't lapped up a 25 year old one in a while. But, but I bet mine was way better. Here's what I, here's my, <laughs> here's my reasoning. Yeah. Like, you know, when you meet a puppy, like I met a puppy Ugh. and its teeth are so white. Yeah. And the breath doesn't even smell. The breath is nice. It's puppy it's puppy breath. It's yeah, new. It's like, you actually go like, you actually want to be in there. <laughs> you and whiff uh, it. Yeah. It's like fabric you softener. You're like, yeah. But and then you the, take your finger and you, you kind of go like, <laughs> Like that? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but then you get you know you've had the dog for like 12 14 years and that mouth is oh my god a septic tank. it's a fucking fish market yeah, yeah. end like, of day fish market yeah too. Like, god <laughs> damn so i appreciate the sentiment but i'm not buying it based on my science well of dog mouths i would listen to this man who doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> A hundred percent and use it to raise your self-esteem, you know, be like, that's right. Yeah. This Nigerian guy for sure knows. But, <laughs> but you know why he's doing it? it was always our theory of like, he's, he knows his he, angle. he can't get the 20 year olds, but he can get a gang it's, of 40 year olds who are like, this guy angle. thinks my pussy tastes sweeter. I know. And then what happens is he does this speech <laughs> to some chick who's like, nah, he's like, can I sample? May I sample? And then he. He eats around. And he's like, it's so tasty. It's so, yeah, much taste, yeah. yeah. And then she's like, she's like, wow, that, I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. And then she tells her friends, and then they go, he just tricked you into letting <laughs> him eat your box. This Nigerian guy ate my yeah. box. <laughs> Pretty cool. I yeah. think he's actually. Oh, there's more. Sorry. Is. Yeah. So you have just they've just they've just realized that yes, that's where the gold the, is. Yes, but now the problem is the men who are supposed to be viewing this older mature woman mm -hmm. as that seductive woman who has endless passion and taste uh -huh. they have a different perception they called her my wife mother of my children yeah you know what happens to a lot of african men when they go down that road mm. you start looking at her different she's no she's no longer your sex kitten or your playmate she's now your respectable woman in the house mm. even a woman who's 38 who has kids other men are looking at her, you, you are, you are flavored pussy. I want you. But the husband's going like, no, 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 no. That's my wife. Respectable woman. I see what he's doing. You get it? Yeah, yeah. It is all an angle though. It's an angle. Yeah. Clever. Because it's true. Once you have kids and your pussy's torn up and you're tired and mangled and that progesterone drops and perimenopause sets it, like you're not, you're yeah. not juiced up. I was way better in my 20s. Yeah sexually and everything yeah sorry i mean I'm, I'm apologizing as in like i'm sorry i failed you as a woman well you know what you keep trying <laughs> you don't have to give up i do try i stay in the game yeah i'm not i try to keep my weight down i'm on the low level t mm -hmm. take my supplements and stuff too you know what i mean yeah but just keep uh keep putting out keep doing things i do put out I still put just out. keep keep trying new things keep stretching you know stretching jaw uh, legs. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're doing great. You're doing great with your very tasty uh, 40s vagine. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's out of it's, his mind. Yeah. It tastes it like that. tasty sad. or mature? It's not. Puss. It's just, we're all rotting, decaying right now. We are. Yeah. Meat rotting on the bone, dude. Yeah. 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 Just getting closer to death. There's no way. Got a few weeks to live. Yeah. At best. At best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Just uh, live those best years right now, those moments. Don't be anti-trans and just uh, <laughs> just try to be a good person. Um, this is a cool, cool person. This is Not forever. You years. know what they tell you? They always say you never know, honestly, how long you're going to live. Right. You don't know. And seize the day. Do what you love. Do what you love. And if you, you know, it's like, what's the thing? You go. I go. Oh, I want. I wish I could have the croissant. You go. Just do you it. You could die tomorrow. You could die tomorrow. Eat your croissant. This guy has the same idea, okay? Okay. I was in this corner for a while and I noticed the guy was staring at me through that little hole and I couldn't tell if I was being paranoid or if he was just reading a book and he just happened to be in that little corner. Anyways, it felt like anywhere I moved, he kept following me. I definitely didn't expect him to do this. Like, what the actual fuck? Then you notice that he goes over and does the same thing to this girl and he'll crouch down low and pretend like he's doing something and then smell? I don't know. Yeah, he's whiffing that 40-something-year-old Jay. But this Jay. is our interaction. What are you doing? I was so freaked out when I turned around and saw him literally under me, so freaking close to me. So I decided to tell the front desk. So, guess what? What? There's an update. 
No. 37-year-old Glendale man who was arrested just, just last week for allegedly peeping into a home was arrested again Thursday on suspicion of failing to register as a sex offender. According to Glendale Police Department, Khalees Crowder was arrested Friday on suspicion of peeping into a residence in Glendale while a family, including children, were at home. Police say Crowder pleaded no contest to a peeping charge on Monday and was sentenced to 60 days in jail in order to enter into a sex rehabilitation program. However, Crowder was quickly released from custody. As part of his sentence, Crowder was ordered to register as a sex offender, but police say he failed to do so, prompting, prompting him to be arrested again Thursday. According to police, Crowder was being held in the Glendale City Jail in lieu of $20,000 bail. Investigators say Crowder has a long history of peeping, prowling, and residential burglaries dating back to 2011. He has been arrested multiple times and served eight years oh. in prison. Most recently, Crowder made headlines for an alleged stalking incident captured on video. Oh, dear. Uh, Michaela Witter said she was stalked by Crowder at a Barnes & Noble. Her TikTok of the incident now has more than 5 million views in the video. He is seen crouching down near her legs. Uh, he said he's tying his shoes. She looked like he was smelling her from behind. Um, and there's our boy. Uh, wow, look yeah. at those ears. Arrested for Shrek. sniffing butts at yeah. Barnes & Noble. <laughs> but here's the thing, man. Do what you like. Do what you like. Do what, you, do what makes you well, happy. Well, and can you really blame him? Because she's in her late 30s, and yeah. her vagina's smelling and tasting it's better almost than tasty. ever. It's almost very tasty. She has yet to hit 40. But once she does, yeah. then it'll be the tastiest it's ever been. Yeah, I mean, you can't blame the guy. It's called science. Mm -hmm. Wow, this guy's super cool. And he's been there for eight years. Prison? Yeah, he's yeah. been eight years in prison. You know, I don't agree with a lot of what Putin does in yeah. russia yeah however i don't know if you've heard but russia has been um killing else yeah or castrating them right? castrating, yeah, them. castrating castrating chemically castrating chemically Jesus. and i kind of i think putin's on the right track i here. actually think he's 100 percent doing <laughs> some things that are right um and russia you know russia doesn't fuck around no. probably too much they don't fuck around but on they things don't fuck like around that, at all yeah yeah that um <laughs> That type of approach to yeah, managing the law. It's kind of great. I mean, there's no solution for for as your father would say. Or I'm sorry, I the mean, the minorly attracted is what we call them in America. But there's no solution for them. Yeah. Either you be lenient and you try to understand it and educate them, or, but you can't. Yeah. You should just cut their nuts off. I think that's the better solution here. Chemically castrating is a positive. I don't see how anybody can make a case. <laughs> against that that is <laughs> what you should do you know well the saudis chop hands off of thieves great. for shoplifting you get yeah. your hands cut off it i don't, makes think, I don't see a sense. problem with that um yeah i think it kind of would work yeah because just like they solved the gay problem in russia there's no gays in russia problem solved problem solved yeah just make it illegal dude there's a i think it was iran that said we don't have gays of course not <laughs> once you <laughs> outlaw just like, it it just stops it happening it doesn't exist here that's a, your problem. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we need to make a law yeah. against these people. Yeah. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. we killed them all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Speaking of the law. Sure. Um, this guy needs to be castrated. Yeah. We're done. I think eight years in prison Chemically for being a pervert. Chemically castrate you. Yeah. Come on, douche. He's not being rehabilitated. It's not happening for him. But just so you know, if you do go into prison, the chance <laughs> for finding love doesn't end there. You can still... Put your message out that you're getting out, and, or maybe you're not, but you want to find love. Because I right. think we all deserve love. Even, Everybody. Even inmates. And luckily, we have found oh my God. that there are inmates posting their dating profile videos That's right. from inside. On Instagram, which yeah. is very rare. Usually it's the talk. Yeah. But this gem I found on the Insta, I can't believe, I, I don't want to curse it. It'll probably get taken down. Yeah. But I don't know how. But this is probably the greatest thing I've found on social media in a long time. Yep. And I've been thinking about it for a week and I've been dying to share it Let's with you get guys. into it. Let's yeah, see what these so guys are putting out there. Good. And just so you, ladies, when you're listening right now, you're watching, <laughs> these guys are available. Okay. Very available. Hello. Hey, my name's Christopher. Everybody calls me Wingnut. Uh, as you can tell, I'm incarcerated. Mm -hmm. I'm just in here looking for people to write and get to know. Sure. Anyways, I love to draw. Oh. Here, let me show you one of my drawings. Oh, he's an artist. I love that. I love artists. <gasps> Whoa, that's wow. really good. That is really good. Dude. And so if you're just lonely, you're looking for somebody to write, hit me up. 
All right. Wingnut's got some skills. Yeah. Wingnut. You know what? I, I also saw in this woman's TikTok. She's like, if you're going to prison, you need to cultivate a skill. You need to bring your skill set to prison. And she lists drawing as one of those. Mm -hmm. So if you can do hair, for instance, yeah. or give manicures, but drawing that's pretty an elite skill. That is the thing. If you know you're getting locked up, you better be good at something. Yeah. You know, what would yeah. you? What would your lockup? I'd be skill? in real trouble. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Telling fart jokes. I'd be. Uh, I can make you guys laugh, and then uh, like, he's you like, know. "You can make us come." Yeah, exactly. Make us laugh while we come. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what could you do? You could maybe exercise with them. You're good at exercising. No, no way. You give cool haircuts. You I give mean, yourself they would, haircut. they would re like, the, it would be a thing if you really are genuinely funny, you make everybody laugh, but that's kind of like a thing that's discovered. It's like you hang out with somebody and they go, this dude's funny. You know, like that's, know. that reminds me of school where like, like once people are like, Hey, they're like, yeah, that dude's really funny. You know, you make people, but you can't go in there. Like that's my skill set. Well, they're not going to like let you do shows. No, 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 they're not. Well, actually I have heard of that happening too. Really? Where yeah. the inmate can do Eventually, yeah, a yeah. set? Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's kind of, okay, well then wait a minute. We but, found no, our but, skill. But that's the thing is it's going to happen like once a quarter or a year or something. And it's going to be like a whole thing where <laughs> you got to be like one of the best behave inmates. And you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a reward for you and for the, in, like that's a once in a while thing. And you probably can't make fun of the COs, which is all you want to do. Yeah, I don't know. They might allow it. I think you just don't want to incite. Yo, violence but you do like one banger show yeah i know a year and you're like the hero i know of the block that's true it's true dude that'd be so but i rad. think you actually just need another skill set you got to be able to like cook practical or yeah draw or something Shit. i know i'd be i feel like i would definitely be in trouble i'd be a such a loser i just yeah. i just have to like have a i'd be no, someone's girlfriend yeah you do her laundry and stuff and <sighs> you don't want to be somebody's bitch but yeah i might have to be but i think it's different for women because you're not they're not like you're not Really, yeah, you're not uh, like, you know, some chick who really digs you, wants you to be her girlfriend, is not going to be like, all right, I'm going to fucking kill you if this doesn't like, but guys are like that. You know? <laughs> like that chick will be like, can't believe you don't have feelings for me no more. You know, <laughs> like super pissed, but she's not going to, she's going to be but, like, all right, you like the other bitch? Fuck you then, Christine. Yeah. I would, I would hook up with the most powerful woman on yeah, the block, that's smart, but then yeah. I'd have to eat her box. But yeah. the good news is her pussy tastes sweeter if she's older. Yeah, she's been locked up for a long time. Yeah. So that would be it's good. been marinating and been, happy juices. And can you imagine too, I've uh, also in this prison talk, yeah. I've learned that like showers aren't a leisurely activity. Like you get in, you get out. So nobody's mm. really smelling great. Their boxes are probably really ripe, dude. I know. So anyway, I like Christopher. I'm going to, so far, let's play the prison yeah, dating Yeah, who do you want to date? <laughs> Wingnut? So, so far, far, Wingnut's a good choice. I think he's good. He's sensitive. He can draw. I, I like his approach. I kind of wish we knew what they were incarcerated <laughs> for. That's a huge you know, deal breaker. It's a point. big tell. All right, <laughs> here we go. Tell. And how long? Yeah, let's see here. How long will Wingnut? Call me Mundo. I'm 34 years old and I'm into pretty untrustworthy girls. I got a thing for them. If you ever been called trash, that's my kind of treasure. If you ever been called a hoe, you ain't. People are just jealous of you because they ain't out there living their life. Anyways, you got daddy issues. Hit me up. Yeah, dude, Mundo. Dude, Mundo. This guy's the bomb, dude. Mundo's asking for broken girls. Yeah. 34? <laughs> mm, but he knows, dude. This is from exp this is experience. This yeah. guy knows that like he's into drama. Oh, he loves he wants, it. He wants problems, you know? <laughs> he, his dad. he knows that's not from a good girl. That's like a bad girl is going to bring you lots of problems. But isn't that already a given? If you're perusing the prison Instagram, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Like, you're already fucked And he, he just, he's so smart, I think, because he literally, he was direct. Yeah. It's a big thing they tell you too if you're if you're entering the dating world what people do is they pretend to be someone else. Don't do it. Or they'll say I like this and they don't like he's just like are you trash? <laughs> <laughs> do people say you're a hoe? Hit me up. <laughs> and some girls like, yeah, some guys do say that about me, you know? They say I'm a hoe. Boom. Yeah, he's even got a line he's like other people's trash is my treasure. Like yeah. he's been rolling this line for a minute. Oh, yeah. Now, here's what I like about Mundo. Yeah. Now I'm convinced he's the one for me because he's so Jesus. Yeah. That was really loud. Liquid death. Um, I lost my train of thought. That was such a loud open. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that he's so inclusive yeah. and accepting of my flaws, like I'm already down. Exactly. Because you want the guy that's like, you're not fat. That you don't you're have to not, be, pretend to be something I feel else. like I have to pretend to be normal so much with yeah. you. I'm always like, oh boy, he's going to think I'm crazy. But you already know I'm crazy, right? So Mundo, is he your number one now? 
Oh, man. I mean, I like his acceptance. However, I do wish he had a skill, an artist skill, because I do relate well, to the artist. Well, maybe he does have a skill. He just didn't show it there. Okay. You know? I think Wingnut's a little more stable. I, I do think like so a too. stable choice. And also, Muno's going to be pissed that you're not creating problems. He really wants... <laughs> Seriously, he <laughs> wants drama. Can I tell you, I do think that an inmate is an ideal partner. Now, hear me out. A lot of women will be like, what? He's damn. Yeah, but he's just thinking about you, girl, all day. All day, every day. You and like the other five hoes that he's got on rotation. That's cool. Like he's just in there writing me letters. He's writing letters, bro. Thinking about me, Jane is dating me. Like it's the ultimate devotion that I totally. require. Devotion is right. I want hey, that. my name is Car 38. Aquarius. Um, I'm from Idaho. New, <laughs> newly relocated to Arizona. <laughs> I like um, comedy movies, scary movies, heavy metal. Hell yeah. Um, fast bikes, mountains and trees. I love snowboarding. I love poetry. Uh, a lot of music lyrics. I love heavy metal. So I'm just looking for somebody to talk to. Intelligent, good conversation. Clark and I have a lot of the same interests. Hey, actually, yeah. And he mentioned he heavy likes, metal twice. He likes nature, but he likes lyrics. I like lyrics so, too. Yeah, likes nature, outdoors. <laughs> May recently relocated. Newly relocated, <laughs> yeah. So he's so calm and chill. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, but aggravated assault is the chart. Like you can oh, see yeah, that yeah. guy flip, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> but this is the difference. Is like, oh, you know, shit, he's putting Clark, on his cool. like his his dating face. This is his yeah. like, you know, I'm pretty chill, dude. <laughs> I like the snowboard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like the outdoors. <laughs> it's you like know? you. Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're like I don't know. Come into my web, girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's deceiving the shit out of her. Yeah, yeah. And the and I like to. So there's two approaches. There's the one that's like straight up, like hit me up. I want to tap that ass. Mm -hmm. Or Clark, who's like, let's just be pen pals. Let's just see where it goes. I just want to get to know you, girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's entering the door. Like we're just gonna chat. Sure. That's not what it's about. That's though. not what it's about. Okay. I don't yeah. buy Clark. I like you, but yeah. So far, Mundo or Wingnut. Let's see here. Hey, what's up? I'm Levon. I'm looking for an ex-heartbreak. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just a real <laughs> one looking for a pin pal to keep me company, maybe catch a vibe with. I'm real not because I got tattoos or I'm locked up. I'm real because I'm honest, loyal, dependable. I made mistakes. I've had setbacks, but I learned from all of them. So when I get out, I'm ready to just settle down and have a good life. Hell yeah. You feel my vibe? Jay paid me already. I'm a rare breed. Hope to hear from you soon. Damn. You know what he's figured out, Levi, is that um, you know he con he conveys information in concise ways. He mm -hmm. just tells you the whole thing. I'm real. I'm loyal. I've made mistakes. I've had setbacks. I'm looking for someone to vibe with. Like he just he gets to it. Yeah. So he's not wasting time, right? That's one yep. of the things that I, like he's just direct. But here's the other thing: you don't know shit about him. No, that's what's this, scary. This commute. This conveys. Absolutely nothing. nothing. You're right. Because you just want to vibe. He wants to vibe. Yeah, it's an emotional connection. Mm -hmm. He's like, he, he would, that's what women like, though. Right. I bet you. There's a lot of discovery that'll happen in these first few letters. <laughs> yeah. Not really sure what's going on with but Levi. But he's smart. You know, Patty Stanger will tell you, like, you don't lead with all the cards. That's right. So no, he, I, I think it's an effective video that he made. He's doing slow disclosure, which is actually the smartest way to court a yeah. lady. But uh, he's, and he's leading like, yeah, I've made mistakes. And it's like, I oh, like we know that. Yeah. We know you've made mistakes. <laughs> um, a lot of guys in prison are real big on I'm loyal, you know? Yeah. Well, so, loyalty is everything. You got to uh, click yeah, up, yeah. homie. I'm loyal. Which clique are you in? Trust me, dog. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so fucking nutty. Yeah. I like that he admits that he's like made mistakes and mm -hmm, shit. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like that. He's got a neck tattoo. Very aggressive. A lot of tats. Yep. I like it. I like these damaged guys. There's, hey man, this is exactly what you wanted. This is all I'm all this in. This is what you've dreamt of. We've <laughs> always been talking about this. Here's the, here they are for you. Um, well, look, why don't we take a quick break? Because okay. our guests. Wait, hold on. What? There's one more. No, there's more than one more. Oh, okay, okay. But well, why don't we just get to them later? It later? Yeah, okay. Sure. I, I was just I was panicking there for a minute because I wanted to see all my suiters. Yeah, yeah. No, there's. And there's, I know there's there's. <laughs> There's Other a, guys in the we'll pen. Share, we'll show the fellas. Okay, see, uh, okay, maybe, okay, okay. Because okay. uh, they, you know, they do are you fucking garbage. So <laughs> maybe they'll weigh in I on this. I love these guys, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll be back in a moment. Bye. We are supported by DraftKings. The NFL season is officially here, and I've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, to bring all new customers an exciting way to join in on the action right now. New customers. 
Download the DraftKings app. Use our promo code MOM. Bet just $5 and boom, $200 in bonus bets. Hit your account instantly. So don't wait any longer. Get some skin in the game and download the DraftKings app now. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use our promo code MOM. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code MOM, MOM, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. And we are back and we are thrilled to welcome back our guests who right now you can see on the Stay Trashy Tour. You can buy tickets at RUGarbage.com. It's yes. Kevin Ryan and H. Foley, hey. everybody. Right here. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming back right Thanks, out of the man. gate. The boys are looking healthy. Thank and you. Yeah. We're trying. Thank They're, you, man. We're trying to follow your th- yeah. your footsteps. Sure. You guys sure. look. You guys. You guys look rich. No, yeah. All right. Thank you guys you. look fucking fantastic. Lots of hormones and lots of supplements. So, That's I what like I, I just want. I'm like, I got to yeah. get down 20, and then I'm just going full golden. Tommy Buns, you're and, going, I, you're and I'm just going to start shooting you're myself. Taking up that vitamin T. No, I want to, dude. I What's know. vitamin T? Testosterone. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the next step. I want just, it. That's what I'm getting to. I just got to get a little more healthy, and then I'm like, I'm fucking going full board. Dude. Yeah, get, dude, I'll be jacked. We are. Yeah. In. Let's just take the right. Tea. Let's talk as soon as this is over. Yes, dude, okay. yes. That's why I came down some, here. Some, I need a plug. Yeah, dude. Let's, let's get some stem cell hookup. Some, I got plenty of needles in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get you even with your shirt color. Like I know. You, yeah. you look alive. Dude, you got Thanks, son. It's going to his head too, though. He gets a couple of good compliments, and he comes in with a bit of an attitude. Here's what I like about him. Diva. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. That is going to be, that's addictive to you. Yeah. So it's going to make you want to keep going. Yeah. That's feels why good. I like it. Feels good. And yeah. so is Epics. That's really what it is. Yeah. yeah dog. It's leveled the playing field for You're me. down 50, 50 pounds. pounds. Wow. Which is weird how, that's how fat I am. You can't really tell that much. <laughs> this is also <laughs> true, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be even more dramatic in, in, in not that long from now. I like, hope so. Yeah, you're gonna. You're in a little bit. People are gonna be like, "Well, you really lost weight," and you're gonna be like, "Yeah, just down a hundred And yeah. they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" I know. Yeah, yeah it's I incredible. Got a you know, yeah, no big deal. It's wild. That's wild, dude. Thank you. So wait a minute. Um, the OZ, it's working. Yeah. Any side effects? Yeah. What is it? The main one. Yeah. Is oh. the burps. Burps, oh. buddy, dude. Bad I figured burps. this was the place to talk about. Yeah, it. Of course. yeah, yeah. 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 So I want to hear about. Genuinely, it. the worst thing I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> so we I'm were, not even joking, dude. We were on the plane yesterday or the other day. We sat together, <laughs> and I had it really bad. And it just it, it's literally like you're burping up rotten eggs. Well, we get really? on, we get it on just the plane. Keeps doing oh, on a on a plane, dude, it's Terrible. We get on the plane, and I, this is my best friend in the wife. We spend like every day together, and typically, if there's a smell. I know, I know, told. I know what he. Admits, I'm being ridiculed. You know what I mean? It's like I know what it is if he hasn't showered or whatever. <laughs> You're like, I know all your smells. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. we're sitting there, we're on the plane, and you know, we're right by the bathroom in the front, and uh, the bathroom. <laughs> there was something wrong with it in the beginning. Like, oh, we're waiting on pressure or something. So they were like, it's not really working right oh, now. That's the worst. So then we're sitting there, dude, and it smells like a, we're like in I'm the air. cranking these things out and like every smells, couple of minutes. But you're doing like those kind. Like I'm doing this. I'm doing it. the. I'm doing the. You know, the fat girl at a bar. Doing that thing, yeah. blowing it to the side. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Dude, and I thought there was a sewage problem on the plane. Because you don't know yet. You're I like, don't know yet. And I'm sitting next to I'm like, man, I guess It's that, that foreign. I know. Yeah. I get it. doesn't smell human. Like, it and doesn't smell. do you smell. bring it up? You're like, man. You know, no, I no, just No, that's why I thought I was getting away with it. And then we're, we were at the fucking mothership on whatever, on Friday. And I'm like, this place has a sewage problem, too. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, what is going on? And he goes, do you smell my burps? And I was like, oh, dude. That's dangerous. Yeah. Did you want to puke when you found out it was his burps? Oh, oh and then he's like, do you I want to puke. He yeah. goes, do you think other people smell it? I go, the good thing is no one would attribute that to a human. That's so you're go- I've never seen anything like it. What are you eating? Mm. Do you think it's the diet? Sewage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby diapers. <laughs> How, yeah, what are what are you eating? Yeah. Are, you're obviously eating less. Yeah. So that's a big thing. You're eating less. And be honest with you, the first couple of weeks, I was like trying to just eat like what I would normally eat. Yeah. And then like not push through it. Like I was trying to beat the game a yeah, little bit. Yeah, sure, sure. But it didn't work. It yeah, just made you feel real sick. Yeah. So just more protein, 
You no, are. No candy, none of that shit. A lot Great. of fruit. Are you said candy. Are you eating? No. Uh-uh. What'd you put in your mouth? It's a Ricola. It's a cough okay. drop. All are right. you eating eggs? <laughs> Got to keep it Yeah, a lot of eggs. So that's eggs. what it is. Yeah. He's burping up no, it's farts. No, it said that <laughs> so bad. It's crazy. You're burping farts up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's insane. The level of this smell. Uh. Yes. It's pungent. They said no matter what you eat, it's going to, because your stomach slows down. Oh. So things sit in there a little longer. Yeah. But you're eating protein, though. A lot of protein. Good. Yeah, a lot of protein, a lot of fruit. Nothing really after eight or nine o'clock. Nice. Drinking Great. a lot of water. No it's, sodies. It's not a fun hang anymore. He used yeah. to be the guy who's like, let's get pizzas and yeah, burgers yeah. and beers. And I'm still like, we're on vacation this weekend. You know, so I'm like, yeah. we're like hanging out. I'm like having drinks. And he's sitting there with like a club soda. And I'm like, let's go get God, pizza. Man, and he's like, no, I'm going to stop. I know it's great. Yeah. It's, yeah. It sucks. I had one glass of white wine yesterday. And it doesn't hit the same anymore. It doesn't. Suck. Nah, it sucks. Why? Really? What happened? Because the Ozempis. What does it? What, what does it do? What does it do? It's like it? drinking plutonium. He makes really? it sound like oh, candy. It fucking sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks because I love getting fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. No, how about like edibles or something? Can you do that? Yeah, but then I get start getting hungry and shit like that. Oh. oh yeah. Right. Damn it! So you gotta be sober now. Yeah, a little bit. That's the what worst. What about like oxy's or something? You know, get yeah. on something. He's like, already had a problem with okay. this. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you come on? We're trying. What do you think to get... we're doing here? Yeah. Buddy? <laughs> <laughs> About to Shit. fake a back injury in here. <laughs> so, you know I mean? Okay, so no, so the boot, the, no booze, no booze doesn't work. It's it just doesn't feel the same anymore. It okay. doesn't fucking hit me, and I, I don't want to keep drinking. Like good, if good. I have like two or three it's drinks, good. it's it's uh, it's like I'm like fuck, and also I know I'm like we're on the road. You got to stop. You can't live like that. Mm-hmm. Just right. constantly boozing and eating shitty. Well, you're road. turning a new chapter, man. Yeah, this yeah. is like. This is uh, some good health stuff for you. Yeah. And yeah. you've just been sucking down fucking Bud Lights and eating flatbreads the whole week. <laughs> but you're down also. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. We were doing like a weight loss challenge. We've been trying it for, I mean, once the pod started getting some momentum, I'm like, I got to fucking keep this guy alive. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, so yeah, we were doing, we him, were trying keep it. Keep my fat alive. ass on stage. <laughs> I get out and dance, get monkey. Yeah. Sing. So but we couldn't. I mean, we tried like I gave it was like I just lied to everybody yeah. for about a year and a half. What did you tell him? I was oh, losing dude. weight. Oh, you did? Yeah, the scale, this, that. Dude, he know, I, we, we gave him like a $5,000 incentive or something. Like, this is like early on when that was like, you know, a lot of, you know, it really would have fucking, he really needed it. And uh, he was like, we're like, you got to lose 15 pounds in like 60 days or something like that. And we weighed him in like the week before the real way. And we did like a, you know, let's see where you're at. And he was up like nine pounds. And he goes, I got it. I'll, I'll be, I'll be. I'm like, you're not going to lose 36 and fucking in seven days. And he will just lie until he yeah, gets yeah. on the scale. Yeah, and yeah. It's, an, it's an addict. Scored out a couple of tears and that's yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He cried one episode just to get us off his back. Really? Yeah. 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 Full blown. Yeah. You're a master manipulator. Oh, of course. You, you have yeah. no idea. So, yeah. so what yeah. was the breaking point where you decided to get serious? Uh, yes. They were busting my balls pretty heavily. Yeah. Just, um, just like it's time to do it. Like, or you, I mean, for years, we were just like right. circle in the wagons of like, yeah. come on, yeah. I and them like every order and every whatever. And like, you know, and I started to not feel well, if that makes sense. Like That's I could get away, is. I could That's get away with being fat, but then it got to like a critical mass phase. Yeah. Where like, uh, just like the bending and the this and the knees are hurting. Right. And you're just like, Ugh. no, no fuss shoes. Yeah. No yeah. fuss shoes. Yeah. I'm still rocking those. I know. I but, still got the shoehorn with me. Let's but, not get crazy. But, but, but I'm saying like those things all add up of like, yeah. Yeah. It's inconvenient to move. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And like I was saying before, the wipe in the ass wasn't, uh, wasn't, you know, wasn't I've never thick. really had a conversation with, so I've been curious about that when there's a real big dude. Yeah. Like what happens for ass wiping? It just becomes uh, the shower does a lot of the work. Really, uh, a lot of dumping jumps. Yeah, honest with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, jump in and jump because out. it's like the mobility isn't there. Yeah, getting back there. Yeah, and if it's a tight spot, you know what I mean. And like, like it looks like I'm falling off a motorcycle. Wiping <laughs> 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 my ass. So like a hotel room that you're like oh, the, forget the, the, it. the bathroom oh, jammed you, up. So you just yeah. go. I'm just gonna get in the shower. Yeah, we went on vacation uh, last year. Me and my girl, we were went to Paris, and it was one of those European toilets oh, where like it wasn't really touching the ground, and I was in it's like just against the wall, and I'm like, one, I'm gonna fucking break this. It's thing. gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to run to the embassy to get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, and then two, I'm just like just reaching back there, and it was dicey. So you got to jump in the shower, and then when you jump in yeah. the shower. You still got to get back there. Yeah. And it was tough to get back there. I got my leg up on the thing. I'm oh moving my this. God. Yeah. So it becomes like, a real inconvenience. It sounds like real you're nine months pregnant. This is what it felt like when I was that pregnant. Because I gained so much weight with my first kid. I gained okay. 80, 80 pounds. 
And, uh, you know, and it happened so fast. My joints hurt, remember? Yeah. I, I'd have to like flop down on the toilet because okay. I was so heavy and big and my yeah. knees hurt. And in hurt. such a quick time too, really, yeah. to gain that weight in that amount of time is yeah. like the real yeah. shocking change. to the system. Yeah. 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 So it just got, it just got to the point. Damn. So you're like, this enough. That's, enough. What, that's what happened. You said like enough. Yeah. Yeah. And I just convinced my, I forced myself to go and get the Ozempics. Great, man. Great. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, you. he's doing Do it. fucking fantastic. It's great to see. He's even yeah. like, even on the road, he's got like a little more energy. He's like, all right, let's walk here instead of like, before right. it was like, how many blocks? What's going It was like, we would <laughs> yeah. walk into a restaurant and have to like figure out where we're sitting yes. type thing, you know? Yeah, yeah that's still we, a bit of an issue. We ran into that yesterday. We went to a place. Yeah. And it was the fixed booths. Yeah, the booths are you gotta trouble. give You gotta have some leeway on that table. You can't fucking see, bolt I, everything to the, the ground. The first time I actually, I... I experienced this. I worked the road one time where I was put in this uh, condo with the, um, this guy, that, the condo that was in Northern Kentucky. They, they called it the Cincinnati Funny Bone at the time, but it's in, sure. it's it like in uh, Newport, Newport, Kentucky. Newport, Kentucky. It's right okay. over the bridge. And they put you in a condo. The condo was a two bed, one bath. And so I get there and then the feature act shows up a 600 pounds. Jesus. 600 pounds, right? So I was like, Yo, okay. Like I and I'm I'm we're roommates for the weekend. Bunk beds. Man. <laughs> so the first thing was I was like, you know, uh it, I remember that he took a shit and uh the smell came through the wall. So I was like I was in I was in my bedroom and I was like, what the, the fuck, fuck is that? This place is on it. <laughs> then you know, we do those Thursday night shows Friday morning. You know, I get we go to, go to bed late. Mm -hmm. I get up, and uh, the door's locked. So I knock on the door. I go, "Hey, you in there?" And he's like, "Yeah, what's up?" I go, "You want to go get something to eat?" And he was like, "Yeah, all right." I'm eating right now. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> "I'll do a second like, breakfast." Okay. <laughs> to get for him to like just get up and and us to leave it was okay. about an hour. An hour. <gasps> about an hour. Yeah. Damn. So I was like just kind of waiting. What, you what know, is he doing? Is he showering? I mean, I don't know, but like that's like how long it took him to get to get out of bed. The get thought out of, of bed, like he's gotta probably sit there for five minutes. Get like, dressed. All right. Sure. Get you know. So then I'm like, Damn. okay. So he had a I was I flew there for the gig. He drove there. Mm -hmm. That car so had to be we got rough. into in that car and <gasps> he's sitting and in the back seat. He no, he's in the driver's seat and I'm in the passenger seat. It's like an older Buick and I'm a big guy at the time, uh -huh. but I'm in the passenger seat, and I'm not kidding you. I'm against the window like this, <laughs> mm -mm. and he's here. Mm -mm. He's pressing on me. Uh -huh. He's pressed, fully pressing on me like this, right? And I was like, holy shit. So I look up a place. We park. We go in. And when I'm like, yeah, two. And, when, uh, and they're like, okay. And as we start to walk to the table, I just turn around like this, and I see that he's gone outside. Right. So I was like, uh, oh, hold on a second. And I go outside. He's opening the door. I go, what are you doing? He's like, it's only booths. And he just got in the car. Oh. Like he didn't even say anything to me. He's like, we can't wow. eat here. So what I was like, fuck? oh, because it, it was a place that just had had the yes. sure. Which but, is stupid. Which I was yeah. like, yeah. Bad business model. It's bad yes, business. Mate. So I get in the car. Then we find another place. That has chairs and tables. It's only high go, tops. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we sit down Back in the car to eat, and this is what killed me: is he was like, uh, you know, we're, we're eating breakfast, and he's like, "Have you seen uh, John Panette lately?" And I go, "No." He goes, "That guy's got to get his weight under control." <laughs> and he starts oh, uh, wow. eating like you that. You just couldn't fit in a restaurant. And I was like, <laughs> "I go, yeah." He goes, "He's." Real big, yeah. And I was like, yeah, like he just was. But that's a good, it goes back to that denial we were talking yeah. about. You're oh, like, oh, yeah. the injury's not from my yeah. weight. See, it's, I would have never, I would have never mentioned the booth. I'd have been like, ah, I saw a rat or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I yeah. wouldn't have said I can't fit in that booth. Bad yeah, place. Yeah, bad Yelp reviews. Bad Yelp. Get out of here. Like, you didn't see that? We gotta yeah. get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the funny thing is, like, that is a thing that we all do. Is uh, the thing that about you? You just find somebody else and you go, you've seen that guy? That guy looks like shit, dude. Yeah. I've just been living with the, next to him. It's like yeah. I'm never gonna be. I'm like ah, I'm not him. Yeah. He's eating two cheeseburgers. Yeah. I'm chill. I only I limited myself at one. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And so it's tough. Like a swimsuit model. <laughs> yeah. That is so I'm walking true. around. I'm like yeah. When Tom and I, my, the first pregnancy, remember when we would order dessert for breakfast? Always. We would order like three or four entrees. Well, was I was so already <laughs> like a big dude, and I was not. I was always eating too much and not healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She gets pregnant. And she's like, I'm hungry. I was like, 
yeah, gotcha, governor's let's off. Go. Let's like, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then every time she was like, I want, I go, let's order two. I'm like, sure. I just use it <laughs> so as an excuse fun. to eat way more. Sure. Yeah. Way more. It's great, though. It was yeah, really fun. fun, actually, to eat that much. Yeah. And then I would go to Carl's Jr. five days a week. And then Damn. on the alternate days, I'd go to In N Out and I would be so hungry. And I would order extra barbecue sauce, extra onion rings, just eat in the parking lot. I was so fun. And you love the McDonald's. Um, Sundays. Sundays. McDonald's Ooh, Sundays. Yeah. So we had to get them at 11 p.m. Yeah. So it was like eat the whole Sunday and then, and then... go to sleep. Uh, and <laughs> also your car, so every gross. breakfast thing, because so I love good. breakfast. You know? It's the best. Yeah. We would go to breakfast and I would always get like savory breakfast. And then I was like, let's get a mm. waffle to like. Sure. Hell yeah. Sort of so stable. Yeah. To, uh, like to, yeah, yeah. as dessert. As yeah. Breakfast lighten it up dessert. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I ate it up. Sweet too. Yeah. Eating in the car is great. It's the best because you can be a total slob and a pig. And nobody, I don't actually like eating in front of other people. No, when somebody pulls up next to you, you're like, oh, you feel so like a detective. Shameful. It's so wild, too, to like, I noticed this as I started to get healthier, is that when you start to pay attention to what a normal, healthy person, uh, the amount they eat. It's insane. Like, when you're like, are you done? It's insane. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Like, it's, like, like, sir, it's like reading serving sizes. Like, yeah, it's just, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm fine. And you're like. Oh, and then you start to go, you rec- you see it more because you're paying attention more and you're like, oh, this is actually normal portions are what all these normal sized people eat. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like I've just been eating like a fucking maniac. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I think it was in Larry David and Seinfeld on Comedians and Cars. They're uh-huh. like, yeah, the chef isn't giving you one serving size of potatoes. No. He's deciding, oh, here's just like fucking a half a plate of potatoes. And I'm going, well, that's what came. That's yeah. That's got to be what's authorized for me to eat at sure. breakfast. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, like, right. yeah, that guy knows what he's I doing. Eat, yeah, I can yeah. eat 900 yeah. calories of potatoes. Like, yeah. I just thought, I'm like, this is a balanced breakfast. This is what they're this, giving me. Yeah, I'm sure. eating it. They, they wouldn't give it to you if they didn't want you to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. What are we doing? Yeah, you go to Denny's, like, it's a grand slam. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Like, yeah. pancakes, yeah. eggs, bacon, sausage. <laughs> yeah. Denny wouldn't like, lie to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why would Denny bend the truth? <laughs> he got really good at. Uh, he got really good because we were we'd be on the road and you know there's we traveled like five of us so we'd be really fucking harping on you know and it, like I get it had to be so annoying of like sure you're at the table everybody's like rolling their eyes or and I'm pulling up a chair to the end of the booth sure I'm on the outside at a Waffle House mm-hmm. we got he couldn't fit in the booth I'm like Love you can't fit in a house. Waffle House booth that's this this ain't great and yeah. would you go hard every meal were you like a big like you just would just. Like, how did I get this fat? I mean, like, (laughs) sure. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. In away from prying eyes, Mm. I would say. The public meals were big. Bigger than usual, and yeah. then there was behind closed doors, the private meals, nefarious activities, so, so which just crazy frighten you. What's the Would difference it be between crazy indulgences? Crazy. What's public versus private meal? Like, give us an example. Let's, uh, let's say the Waffle House. You go there. Right. There's people around. What do you order? Yeah. Uh, people around where they're not, where maybe like a year before they're not really busting my balls. Yeah. You know, omelet, some home fries, sausage. OJ, coffee. There's a lot of... So he had like a system of ordering. He'd be like, I'll just do the right away. You're like, this is going to be a loaded yeah. sentence. Like, like, you know, like in Congress, they'll slip something in the bill. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. I was fucking Mitch McConnell. Yeah, really? He, he was oh, passing yeah. waterboarding torture. Yeah. 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 He was Throw like... Throw eight million Atheon real quick. I'll, <laughs> I'll do the Western omelet with the fries... But that comes with baking. Let me add a side of sausage, okay. a side of fruit, and then as he's handed it, and a bowl of chili. You right. know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So that's public. Okay. Yeah. And then so you're everyone's there like, alone? that's a hearty meal. <laughs> yeah. But but you're a big guy, so yeah. I get it. Yeah. But then, like, what's private? Behind closed doors? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's say my girl's at work. It's the summer. The AC's pumping. Got Sopranos on. I got on. Sopranos queued up, ready to go. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, maybe season Everything's three. Everything's ready to go. Everything's ready to the go. The couch has the, it's reclining. Yeah. It, it, yeah. The cat, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to do nothing for the next eight hours. Uh, Mickey D's would yeah. be a Big Mac meal. Mm-hmm. All right, with a Sprite. And then a couple of walking around burgers. You know what I mean? A couple, two McDoubles. And they would usually Jesus. get modified. You know, they'd get modified, no pickles, uh, mac sauce, extra onions and <laughs> Calorie bacon. Calorie intake. Yeah. So it's uh, three burgers now. Three burgers, and then either a McChicken or a 20-piece nugget. Mm. And then if they have the specialty pie, I'm not crazy about the apple pie. Yeah, yeah. But if they're doing like a peaches and cream or a strawberry <laughs> and cream, <laughs> yeah. we're doing two of those Okay, and a sundae. So you're talking oh, like 4,000, 5,000 Right off the rip. Sure. Yeah. If you want to add it all up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. What that's, about a McFlurry? That's pretty wild. No McFlurry. And then, I don't love them. And how, I like a blizzard. How long does that hold you over for? 
You know what I mean? Like you ate, that's a ton, right? So then. I mean, we're at the point now where I couldn't really tell you what hungry is. Right. Like actual hunger. Right. Like, right. you know, like now I know you know what it feels like to go to bed hungry. Hungry, yeah. And yeah. wake up and be like, fuck, I'm hungry and I want breakfast. Yeah. Which I'm just starting to because you just that that feeling because your girl I'm, I'm saying in this scenario you ate all this right like <coughs> midday no one's yeah. home she gets home and then she's like we're doing dinner and so and you're like let's go yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm starving eating all day i've been waiting for you he's what are you doing yeah, he's okay. big on the i haven't eaten all day and i'm like there's no fucking way right like but there's that's just no because way. the mcdonald's bag is stuffed at the bottom of the trash and there's there's right. paper there's wet paper towels put over there's top no of evidence it. wow yeah, yeah. Well, no one's really, gonna go picking through that you're very calculated puts a coffee though. filter on top <laughs> That's, That's so very calculated. Yeah. So, so will your girl give you grief if she finds the bags? Or sure, yeah, yeah hundred percent. Okay, yeah. yeah. So the there you... was concern from all angles. Sure, and there was concern not to my face, which was you know which bothered me the most. I feel we were the oh oh oh. You know what we I mean? Gave you the hard concern to the. We were like really playing defense. We were like really in his fucking face, and it's like I, I obviously it probably wasn't the but we you know we didn't go about it the best way of like you know just calling him fat. But that's what publicly. I'm used to. Yeah, yeah. He, neg- yeah, he gets off on it. Yeah. Do you like the negative? No. No, it's just what I'm used to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just got, dude, he got him fatter, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, everybody was pretty concerned. But we were, like, really in his fucking face every day of, like... You got you get, He'd be like, I'm ordering this, and people were like, get this. Or, like, we'd pick places on the road where we're, like... We in behind closed doors, like all right, he can get a salad here or something. You know, it's not like just a pizza place or something. He told me yesterday they would go in and, and stake places out to see if you the know seats. there was seats and shit. Really? Like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. which I didn't know. Well, it's like he's also my best friend. I love yeah. him. I don't want yeah. him to be the six hundred pound guy walking back to the car <laughs> and be like, that's shameful. And as a yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I've I've been fat most of my life, so it's like I've struggled with it, and it's like I know how it feels. that yeah, that yeah. fucking sucks, and I'm yeah. like. I don't, and plus he's a bit of a diva when he gets in a bad mood. So I'm like, just keep him fun. Let's not, let, we got a six hour car ride through Texas. This is going to fucking yeah. suck. Yeah. Please, yeah. <laughs> the chairs in that place? I know, yeah. yeah. And you're like, Ridiculous. you have to go like, oh. I know, man. It's like, it's, sometimes it would be like talking to a child. Like, you're like, yeah. Like, you're like in yes. their land of make believe of going, I guess we're just suspending all belief that. This is real. Oh yeah, that was crazy what they did in there. You know. Yeah. Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know each other. This is a relationship. This sure. Is a, yeah. yeah, it's a marriage. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, speaking of marriage, uh, while you were uh, in the lobby, you saw that we were sure discovering some uh, prison <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh-huh. pen pal videos. Some really, um, really cool and available suitors. <laughs> um, and uh, I think we should watch a few more if you don't mind. Please. Yeah. Let's get into. What this. is this exactly? So this is an account where these gentlemen are allowed to record these. It's a website. Yeah, well. No, uh, it's on Instagram. It's on Instagram, but it probably uh, is linked to a site or something. Right? I don't know. I think someone's, I don't know. It's I just uploaded. Somebody created an Instagram account for these gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. And there's one for women, actually, too. Nice. Jesus. And How is that not included? you meet inmates <laughs> that want, quote, pen pals. You don't think some, I want to meet some chicks? What the fuck, There's. Man? I think I put, did I put a couple in the folder, Zolo? Were there girls? No, we didn't have girls they, in this mm. batch. You know why? Because they were kind of very bland, oh. believe it or not. And these Chicks guys, were a little these more, guys are a little more exciting. Yeah, the girls were a little more open. Like, I actually want a pen pal. I don't okay. really want to. So it's not like it's setting up for when they get out. Like, hey, when I get out, like, to take Some of them out. say that. Sure. Some, of them, yeah. okay. uh, some of the guys do. I've, I've seen the videos where they're like, you know, I got six more months, and I'm just trying to meet some cool motherfuckers that are down, loyal and shit. Sure. Meet me. <laughs> Hit me up. It's so rad. <laughs> so it's more of a pen pal thing. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, wow. What's up? Uh, my name is Rodney. Uh, <laughs> six foot three, two four. <laughs> Tattoos, obviously. Hey. Yeah. What up, dog? Uh, I like to draw. Okay. Looking for some females out there to hit me up. Hit me up. That's a straightforward. Uh, that was concise. Straight point, I please. respect it. Yeah, I respect it. I mean, it is to the point. Again, this is the best version that Rodney knows of himself to present. Is a. Uh, What's up? I'm six three two forty. I draw. Mm-hmm. Like hit me up. Sure. Um, I don't think I, Rodney's getting out anytime soon. I think there's a lot of surprises. <laughs> I hope not because I don't want him to show up to a show and there's beat my ass. There's a lot of surprises in Rodney's real house. Yeah, so. sure. He, he yeah. is an older inmate, so I'm gonna guess he's been in the system mm-hmm. a lot already. He does conceal a lot. I would like to know more about Rodney. I'd like to know I like a lot that more he's creative. He's that dark he draws. and mysterious. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like that he draws. That's a really good. Skill I don't think to have. he's in there for check fraud. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it's, uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. it's not white collar crime. No. Uh-uh. But I like him. He's aloof and mysterious. Um, All right. Again, he seemed sweet. I like it. Sweet. He was sweet. Yeah. He, was he sweet wasn't like hard. Yeah. Like, what's up, pussies? You know, yeah. he was no. fucking but nice. also demure. The most like the the most hardcore dudes are like, what's up, dog? You yeah. Know, like they're they're the killers. The killers are chill. Yes. Sure. Very true. The quiet yeah. ones. Mm-hmm. As and this say. guy's very quiet. Yeah. Yes. He's like, wait, yeah. you think I'm a problem? And yeah. Like, oh, no, you're cool. He's the strong, yeah. silent type, Rodney. There you go. Well, uh, Rodney's available. Let's move on <laughs> to Robert. Let's see Robert here. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, my name is Bobby. I'm out here in the Idaho Maximum Security Prison. Whoa. I'm just looking for some friends and some pen pals. If I've sparked your interest, I'd really like to hear from you. I hope that you have a nice day, and uh, hopefully we chat soon. All right, peace. Hmm. Another sweetheart, though. Sweet. Yeah. He's got manners. He's got manners. You Clean know. cut kid. Yeah. Got that baby face, baby uh-huh. face Bobby right here. He just max like some he, security though. That ain't great. That ain't, that that ain't, ain't fucking and great. All, a lot of guys don't mention that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's putting it out on the table. I'm Bobby. I like drowning babies. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I feel like he's fighting for his life in I'm there. Bobby, yeah. I'm at Supermax. You can look that up. <laughs> I uh, like defending myself with a broom <laughs> handle. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Christ. Solo showers. But all he's these guys. So chill. Have, Super violent past. <laughs> yeah, I know, but yeah. then how do they play? Like I'm just like the sweet guy. Like, because is that that's, denial. That's what those guys. No, but that's what they become experts in doing. Is yeah, like, uh, I'm not. You don't need to worry about me. But that person's in there. And yeah, they're just yeah. going. Oh, I'm just chill. I'm just yeah. here looking for a yeah. good time. Someone See, to talk to. And this they makes me more interested in what was his name? The gentleman um, Mundo. <laughs> Yeah, Mundo. Mundo. Mundo was fucking awesome. Who dude. was like, look straight up? Are you broken? My friends call me Mundo. 34 years old and I'm into pretty untrustworthy girls. I got a thing for them. If you ever been called trash, that's my kind of treasure. If you ever been called a hoe, you ain't. People are just jealous of you because they ain't out there living their life. Anyways, hey. you got daddy issues. Hit me up. <laughs> there you go. That's a straight shooter right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. He's like Gary V, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You a hoe, you ain't. <laughs> I, I love I think, you, baby. I think Mundo actually has the best video. Sure. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Funny, because, charismatic. Yeah. And he's also like getting to it. Like he knows that there's a certain like insecurity out there. Sure. And he, he, he attacks it right away. Has anyone ever said you're trash? Well, let's be honest. He's yeah. looking for trouble. It's not the classiest people right. watching this. He's <laughs> your point. How yes. dare you? <laughs> I love yeah. you. I'm in love with I all love of you, them. but I mean. You know what I like too about Mundo is that we know he's allowed to walk around with Gen Pop there. Uh huh. So I, I sense that his crime might not be as violent as, say, Bobby. Or he might just Bobby. be running the gangs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's probably got, he's everybody got everybody paid on, off. The, on the payroll. Yeah. yeah. But then, I am I worried about, about why am I worried about levels of violence? Like, once you're there, aren't you kind of. Yeah, once you're there, you're there. I mean, it would be really cool if we could find out each charge or I each know. conviction for each guy. That Somebody was that honest. Yeah. So What's up? Yeah. My name's Jesse. Double homicide. <laughs> I'm, uh, they had it coming. <laughs> yeah. just Someone set up. lied to me. I like loyal people that don't lie. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's taboo. So I also learned on the prison talks that I'm on, it's extremely taboo to ask what you're in for. Like, oh, you know how in the movies, wait a minute. they're like, what, what in- are you in for? You're never supposed to ask another inmate what they've done. To go I, to no, prison. I thought I thought they check oh, your papers right guess away. What? They do, I but- do have what they're in for. No. Really? Yeah. So this guy right here, he's incarcerated for battery, aggravated oh. enhancement, and persistent violator. Raimundo? Yeah, Raimundo. Mund- okay, sorry yeah. again. Aggravated, battery. Uh, battery, aggravated, and enhancement, persistent violator. That's okay. What it says so for he him. gets into fights. Yeah. He likes this guy. Likes Misunderstood, to fight. I would say. Yeah. Sure. Not, you know. Who hasn't been enough? Who sure. hasn't lost their cool then, yeah. driving? Uh, you remember um, Wingnut? I got to yeah. go back to these. Wingnut yeah, we was revisit. the. Uh, <laughs> Was the really good artist here? Yeah. Hello, hey, my name's Christopher. Everybody calls me Wingnut. Uh, as you can tell, I'm incarcerated. I'm just in here looking for people to write and get to know. Anyways, I love to draw. Here, let me show you one of my drawings. Cool. Dude, look Damn. how good that is. There you huh? go. The people, people we people killed. Murdered. Yeah. <laughs> I so see their face every time I close my eyes. Right, <laughs> I thought it was. I a can't fun. escape these three faces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, hold was, on! Don't tell us the okay, charges. Yeah, Let's see think? if we can guess the charges. This is a new fun game. It is fun. Uh, arson. Oh, that's creative. Mm. I'm gonna go with sexual assault for some reason. They wow. sense that's, guys. Jesus. 
heavy. That's, I mean, poor wingnut. <laughs> I know. But, but like a minor one. Like maybe he's exposing minor. himself to people. Okay. I'm okay, not like saying... A, yeah. okay. Okay. Peeping Tom, maybe? Yeah. Foley. Arm robbery. He was incarcerated for drug trafficking and possession of meth and weed. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Is, yeah, not, yeah, not a big deal. See, I guy likes to party, dude. Yeah. Like, Wingnut's um, my guy right now. You're telling me Wingnut rolled into a party with a handful of meth, you wouldn't be like, let's fucking go? Yeah, he's fine. All right. How this about is, this Wingnut, draw my picture. Party. Remember this guy? <laughs> 38. I'm an Aquarius. Hey. Um, I'm from Idaho. New, newly relocated to Arizona. <laughs> relocated. Uh, Sense of humor. Comedy movies, scary movies, heavy metal. Fast bikes, mountains and trees. I love snowboarding. I love poetry. Uh, a lot of music lyrics. I love heavy metal. So I'm just looking for somebody to talk to. Intelligent, good conversation. Remember what I said about him? I was like, no. yeah, this guy's like super chill. Yeah. Oh, you know? he's the most. How violent. does he have a watch and a hat on? Oh, shit, you're right. He's real accessorized. Uh, I mean, he's just relocated. Probably in the move. <laughs> Sometimes in the move, you put things on. Sure. You know? Yeah, relocated is a great branding term. See, here's my problem with Clark, is that so far he's super articulate. He's got a pretty great sense of humor. Mm -hmm. um, he likes nature, dirt biking, lyrics to songs, and metal. So, like, he's pretty introspective. He's well-rounded. Yeah. So he, also, he looks like he wandered into jail. I got to be honest. Yeah, he doesn't he does. look like they grab, like he looks like he's got a hat. He's got to fit it on. So yeah. but the, the the dark side of his force has to be pretty intense because Tom was saying that he's got his crazy charges. Well, I didn't say he's got crazy charges. Oh, oh okay. I said I thought... my, that my whole thing was not knowing what his charges were, that I'm like, oh, this guy he seems presents nice. very like. <laughs> what you might think there's a like, dark underbelly to exactly. that. Exactly. In other words, like, I like snowboarding. Uh -huh. That nature is one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. I know. Poetry's cool too. And you're like, okay. But you don't really know anything sure. about the guy except that he's presenting that, like, these are some of my interests, mm -hmm. you know? So, okay. Oh, Go ahead and guess. I say drugs. Yeah, drugs. I think it's just just simple drugs. Burglary. All right, here we go. Mm. He is incarcerated for aggravated assault, second degree, degree kidnapping, first degree murder, serving a life sentence for assaulting the off, an officer and other inmate while in maximum security prison. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, you okay. were right. Pretty serious. Clark is the hardest G in there Damn. right now. That's why he's got a watch on. Yeah. yeah. They let him do whatever he's the got fuck a he wants. He's, he's, he's doing life. Life. Yeah. Clark, Man. you may have, you may have wanted to mention that at the time. Not going to be hitting the mountains <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> Clark, but, yeah. Dang. But it's weird though. What does he, does it say when he got arrested? No, it doesn't say when. Because these guys, I was just thinking. He said he's like comedy movies. These guys could be fans of yours. Oh yeah. shit! You know what I mean, Clark? Yeah. They watch like they were watching, you know, murderers and kidnappers watch Netflix. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They they do. They totally do. Um, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Hey, what's cool. up? I'm Levon. I'm looking for my next heartbreak. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just ah. looking for a pin pal to keep me company, maybe catch a vibe with. I'm real not because I got tattoos or I'm locked up. I'm real because I'm honest, loyal, dependable. I made mistakes. I've had setbacks, but I learned from all of them. So when I get out, I'm ready to just settle down and have a good life. If you feel my vibe, Jay paid me already. I'm a rare breed. Hope to hear from you soon. Got a lot of like prison slang. He's down. all right. You know, he's all loyal, right. setbacks, yeah. I'm here to vibe, what's yeah. up, I'm getting they, out. And, well, white, white dudes like that always have a very good vernacular. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, I'm raw dog, I'm yeah. fucking, they yeah. always got something yeah. to oh, say yeah. how loyal, how strong they are. Yes. It's but always, you trust that, me. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot yeah. Of that was like an MTV audition. Yeah, it right was, there. Yeah. it really was. <laughs> but what that signals to the females is stability, safety, mm -hmm. security. Yeah. You make me feel safe. Sure. Gosh, it's um, so I, I'm, he's kind of a goofball, because he's like, nah, I'm just playing. So he's not, He's not a convicted murderer. I don't mm. think so either. He's definitely said blood is thicker oh, than water. I know. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He's yeah. definitely yelled that <laughs> yeah. in a bar somewhere while taking a yeah. shirt. Um, Only God can judge him. Yeah. Yes. Grand Theft yes. Auto. I'm going to go oh, for cars. Okay. That's nice. That's yeah. Because he said he's, get, he's getting out soon. <laughs> so it can't soon. be, you know, right. murder, kidnap. Oh, that's all off the table. I'm going to go check for all. Ooh. He I'm seems gonna, like a guy who probably stole his aunt's checkbook and yeah, yeah. wrote it to himself or something. I'm going to go even lower. Parole violation. All wow. right. How about that? I like this. This is fucking wow. fun. This is All right. How about that? Parole Here we violation. Go. It is. He's incarcerated for aggravated DUI and burglary. Ooh. Okay. But you know, burglary. DUI, come on. Theft. Give me, give me a fucking break. <laughs> burglary. Yeah. What's that? Ag assault standard, right? Yeah, come on. Man. That could be. I was, that's a bad night. Yeah, so, uh, my name is Rodney. This uh, is the real. Let's three, see. Two forty. <laughs> uh, love tattoos, obviously. Okay. Hot rod. Uh, <laughs> I like to draw. 
Looking for some females out there to hit me up. Hit me up. He's stone cold. He's been around. He's been in the system for a long time. So he's a recidivism, as they say. Recidivist. Mm-hmm. Shit. He's he's in gangs, drugs. I'm gonna go drogas again. Interesting. Theft. Huh. He does have cartel muscle vibe. And those two tattoos on the side, I believe, are uh bullseyes or targets. I mm. think they're something, something. The two, like pentagram something? type looking things. They're not butterflies. I know that. <laughs> the scariest thing is the over the eye down to the cheek. That For no, sure. That's the scariest tattoo anyone can yeah, have. Yeah, and the soul patch is uh is But a can, lot. can I tell you guys something? Go as ahead. far as like attraction, I'm the most attracted to Rodney. He's good really? looking. Yeah. Well, maybe it's the bald with the beard. He's got no trying to eyebrows. make it about me. <laughs> Just you make it about Rodney. <laughs> he's got uh, no eyebrows. He's hard as fuck. Like this guy. Will See, chicks, you. isn't that funny? They like women will be like, that, <laughs> ooh, that guy's like, look at that guy. He's an animal. And then they go, oh, he's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah it's hot. Yeah, but I mean, you do that with chicks. But sure. hardcore <laughs> chicks. Yeah, I guess so. I don't well, know. I mean, well, it's a different like, like suicide girls. Like, yeah, all yeah. you just see some girls Ooh, all tatted up. Or like, see? Girls are all right. What about know. Tina? The, your love of your life, Tina. Oh, sure. Yes. My alter ego. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you yeah, love yeah. her. Yeah, but That's I think that they Tina. lie about it more. Is my point? They'll be like, oh, sure. They'll be like, oh my god, that guy is like a fucking gangbanger. And then you're like, yeah, I know. Right? Ooh. And then they're like, he's pretty hot. It's yeah, hot, dude. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Rodney's hot. Rodney's yeah, hot. I hate to say it. I'm gonna go murder. Okay. For sure. He's got to have a kidnapping in there, For right? For sure. <laughs> Peppered in a little flavor. Christina? Definitely murder uh, one. Murder one. First degree. Oh, you just ruined it. You what? Uh, you had You already had your guess, and now you added murder one. He's, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I? Yeah, you had it. You guessed. Got yeah, real law and order on it. <laughs> yeah. Did I? Manslaughter yeah. two. You guessed already, and then you just oh, okay. added this. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just like getting to know him in my mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> she's before <laughs> she's like, running away with him. He's right got now. real premeditated before vibes. Before you spoke yeah, yeah. again, you this had wasn't it. an accident. Before you spoke, your original guess was correct. Trafficking meth and marijuana. You said drugs initially. Oh, drugs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's all he has. Drug charges. Yeah. What is trafficking anyway? You got a bag on you? No, a no, certain like, amount of weight and, and like and movement. Going, movement. Yeah. So you're going over state, state lines, lines, county lines, you it know. Could have been a bachelor party or something. Could have been. Dude, that guy's not going on a bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here we go. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Uh-oh. Uh, my name is Bobby. I'm out here in the Idaho Maximum Security Prison. I'm just looking for some friends and some pen pals. He's got some <laughs> meat hooks on him. Interest, dude. He does. I would like to hear from you. He's got what? So meat hooks. Hey, he strangled somebody with that thing. Peace. But no tattoos. Maybe on the hand he's got one. But no tats. And Bobby, he's sweet. Bobby could work at Starbucks. Like he looks totally normal. He does. It's weird because yeah. it looks like he's in the equipment cage at a gym or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Doesn't he? <laughs> it's it's like a bunch of dodgeballs around I him. Know. He's that's what he does. He's like, I'm in the gym here, <laughs> yeah. about to rent out some stuff to the boys. Jump ropes. <laughs> huh. Some medicine balls. Yeah, Bobby. What's, what's, Bobby? what's the guess? I'm going aggravated assault. Okay. Yeah. He's violent, sweet Bobby. He's yeah. big. No yeah. one's that big without some sort of like loose cannon ability. Man, I want to say just a bad night, a fight. Yeah, can I go aggravated assault? I sure. got to pick something. But this different. is maximum, you guys. This means yeah, you can he's, oh, he said he's in maximum prison. Yeah, yeah maximum he's security. killed somebody then, right? That's, no, not necessarily. That's a high level felony, I think. You're not you're not doing like it low is, level. But you no can, DUI gets you to no, maximum DUI, security. No DUI, no way. <laughs> but maximum security can be just just a. It doesn't have to be violence, okay. it, but it does have to be a serious felony. Severe, yeah. yeah. He yeah. does oh, have bad drug dealer vibes, though. Like that drug dealer you had in college, you were like, this idiot's going to get caught someday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He does have that. Nothing personal against you, Bobby. Hold on. I've got a sweeter story for Bobby. Maybe his stepdad was beating up his mom, oh, and he's like, I'm going to wow. kill this motherfucker. Because Bobby's like a good dude at his heart, like sweet Bobby face. He doesn't have tats or nothing. Like, I don't know, dude. Maybe he killed his stepdad for being a bitch. All right. But can't you get off on that a lot of times? You can not, though. sometimes. But yeah. I got to say... Foley, you had the best instincts. Thank you. I wish we had more details, but it's simply possession of controlled substance. Aww. So you give him fucking max for that. Well, it probably is, and, and it, it's not telling me here, but it's probably a lot of it. Yeah. So it's probably hmm. a, a huge amount. Or maybe. it could have been like his fifth time getting arrested or whatever, could've and they're like, too. we're throwing the book at you. But hold on, does your, your behavior also dictate what level of security? No, not maximum? for maximum. Like well, if you he's can get, violent. Well, yeah, that could happen. You can get transferred, but I mean, you could can have just fucked be, somebody up in there. You can get a serious enough charge, e- even if it's drug related, mm-hmm. to be sentenced to a maximum security. Yeah, 
Plus, maybe in those Midwest uh, states, they throw a book at you. Yeah, yeah, maybe put you in the super. Drugs, yeah, drugs is like. All right. I couldn't do jail at all. One more. Oh my god, I died. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> What's up? My name's Ricky. My number's. <laughs> Hit me up on JP. I got about eight months left. Um, I like fast motorcycles. Fat girls with pretty feet. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I can make you smile, make you laugh. When it's time, make you squirt. So if you're a freak. You want to you want a freak or uh, you just want to score? Get at me. Show me some love. Hopefully we work something out. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> the best one ever. I love so hard. There you go, hard. dude. He's straight up. He's like, I want to make you squirt. Yeah. Fat girls with nice feet. Yeah. That's what's up, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> like so squirting on a motorbike. Give me a call. <laughs> These guys have nothing to do all day but write. They could, you know, they could have just spent eight that's hours true. writing this. Yeah. And that's he what got he, comes, to it. He, he got, got to there. It. Yeah. yeah. He just he did didn't it. put feet around the bush. Pretty feet. You want to squirt, it's ride a, a bike. Such a specific. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. most fat girls don't have great feet. <laughs> <laughs> I know because that's a fat guy, but you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of pressure on them, the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of weight coming down yeah. on those. Yeah. yeah. A lot of yeah. hammer toes and but shit. But also, Richard, good for Richard for knowing what he likes. Sure. Oh, yeah. I like he, it. He's like, and I also like how he's got one hand up on the phone. He's like, girl, it's a secret. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you some it's shit. It's like he's chatting you up at a bar. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. 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 He is. He's, he's really leaning over you. Yeah. So you come here often, yeah. lady? You want to yeah. better feet you to be honest with you. And I'm a huge fan of knuckle tats, as I've said on the show. It's a lot. cool. I think they look cool. How attractive do you find him versus the other guy? No, I like Latin. Oh, What's the Latin his name? guy. Rodney. Is Rod- Rodney's Latin, right? Yeah, I think he looks No, I'm like not into white boys. I mean, Richard's great. He ain't great. Irish, I know that. I don't like, you know, crackery. Okay. Uh, what's this your is guess? assault. What's assault? Oh, He's hands. too big. He beat the fuck out of some Yeah, guy. he fucks them. He probably fucked like three dudes up. <laughs> <laughs> and made out with their fat girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, huh. Richie. What did they get you he for, buddy? He bashed some skulls, dude. Yeah, he beat the fuck out of people, dude. Yeah. Um, the squirt line. Does that work on women? I think. Someone's got to be like, fuck yeah, I love squirting. Sure. But that's specific to a woman, right? Like only certain women Squirters, do that. Yeah. Right. He's got a niche market. All right. He knows what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> using chat GPT on a college final, maybe? <laughs> plagiarism yeah, trying to go the other way plagiarism on a simple thing man aggravated yeah. assault sure for sure all right here we go this is what is known as a bevy of charges <laughs> oh. uh, incarcerated for intimidating threatening <laughs> or harassing a witness whoa, whoa. and possession of controlled substance uh. so yeah Whoa. Pretty so serious. Somebody. Tell anybody about this, I'll fucking kill you. A witness. A witness. So drug related and intimidation. So he probably he got pinched with a somebody a handful for, of people. And probably. then somebody else, and he was like, I will fuck you up if uh-huh. you say, you say anything. And then they found out about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, I too. Loyalty, I mean, bro. Yeah. Loyalty. Right. Yeah. yeah. What are you? Word is bomb, dude. Yeah. I would go up to some witness and be like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. Talk well, about I think me. if you're about that life, thing. I think yeah. if I was a criminal, I would just be like, I'm all, I'd go full psychotic dude, and be like, yeah. I'm all in. You know, yeah. Why yeah. am I pussyfooting this? Have you ever had uh, <laughs> Let's go. You know uh, Sickler's story about this? No. It's so I love fucking, Sickler. Dude, Sickler, I'm, I'm getting details wrong on this and it's definitely out there. So you can, I'm sure you can find it, but he got jury duty. And was put on like a drug murder case. Fuck that. And and at one point they're like the the uh, the guy that's on trial. I think it was like a Mexican gang member. Mm-hmm. It's like on trial for that, and th- there was like intimidation going on. And then at one point Ryan's like asked to speak to the judge, and the judge was like, has this thing where they're like, are you Ryan Slickler that resides at one thing? He's like, could you what not the fuck? Like giving out his address? <laughs> He's like, cut it off. <laughs> now I moved yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, this is protocol. We got to read your, He's like, don't no. read the fucking address That's here. crazy. Yeah, as a juror on a fucking mm. serious drug murder case. If you yeah. were, let's say, let's say uh, you weren't doing as well as you're doing and you were on jury duty. Like, yeah. go back 15 years. Yeah. And you're on like a major case like that, and you are approached by somebody. Listen, we're not going to hurt you. Here's two million dollars. Two million, something yeah. like that. Yeah, take the money. Yeah. I'm done. Of Easy. Course, yeah. Two yeah. million. Yeah. How do you not get in trouble for taking the money though? No, you would get in trouble. Oh yeah, you get jammed up. You'd get the hell out of there. Then yeah. you have to intimidate some witnesses. Yeah. <laughs> 
really good that's at that. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. That's what you gotta no, do. No, I'd find a way to make that shit legal. Like, there's gotta be a way to accept money from No, there's a- not. There's no way to make Fuck. it legal. It's a definite. I'd find a way to crime. make it legal. Can't put me we on, launder put the money? Put me on payroll, will you? What no, if no. it's a business loan? What you could do is you say you want, okay, let's say I'm just using a number. You say, all right, give me $2 million. All right, here's $2 million. Then you immediately the next day go to the judge and say, hey, this guy offered me a million dollars. <laughs> Like, who are they gonna fucking believe you, yeah, yeah, Johnny yeah. Honest, who just brought back a million dollars? Now so you'd, you'd have a mark on so you. So true. Yeah, if that guy's yeah. got two million to spend. He's got more to come See, after you. Yeah. This is spoken like the guy that hides the McDonald's bag. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At yeah. the bottom of Put the, the trash system can. on trial. <laughs> Spin it all around. <laughs> like how your brain works. Uh, yeah. My, uh, I don't think the cartel would be as forgiving. No. They'll no. look. They'll look under the wet paper towel <laughs> yeah. to find the McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, you'd, have, yeah, you'd yeah. have to do something like you'd you'd have to like move. It has or, to be enough money to move. Relocate. You gotta yeah. disappear. What yeah. do you do? Disappear. Yeah. But you could disappear in Colombia. The thing is that they wouldn't What, right the, under their nose? The real yeah. problem oh, yeah, yeah, hide yeah, in yeah, plain yeah. sight. Is that like Iceland. fat guy walking around with a bunch of hamburgers? You, whatever the offer is, <laughs> let's say it's a lot less than two million, you basically gotta say yes to the offer. That's yeah, the problem. Of course. Somebody approaches you in that situation who's like trying to bribe a juror. Uh-huh. And they're that serious, and it's like for somebody who's like a cartel. If, if they were like, "We'll give you fifty thousand to like do this," you kind of have. You can't to be say. like, you know, I'd really rather have. <laughs> they'd be like, "Hey, man, you it's fifty grand." They're gonna come back and kill you anyway. Right, right. right. Once things cool down, yeah, you're, you're not loose spending end. that money because that's just a this? loose end. How about I just be like, dude, don't pay me. I will shut the fuck up and disappear from your life. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't take the money. I'd be like, no, say no more, dude. I'm not putting you away. And then yeah, I would just yell out me? something like racist in the courtroom. So they, that's, what that's they how they say. say. Yeah, but that doesn't, that doesn't, that work. doesn't work for it the doesn't. arrangement you have with the Sicario. Yeah. <laughs> I would just be like, I'm because no longer on. They would just they pulled me in, hold me in contempt. That's yeah. not helping them out, though. Who? You, the, the guy. If the he, drug if guys. He, yeah. You're just making another problem. Now they got to go intimidate that guy. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the other alternative is he pays me two million and kills me. Yeah, or yeah. I don't take it and he kills I me. I think you're dead anyway. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I think you got to play ball. They get you in jail, though, too. Yeah. yeah oh, they yeah, they can get you in jail. Take the money and try to try your best to hide. No, you can't hide from the cartel. No. Don't take the money and just be like, it's I cool, dude. I got you. That's what you say. As soon as they're like, you know, we want to be like, I got you. What do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's not a problem. Oh, dude, I'm yeah. such a Keep pussy. The money. I'm, I'm happy. Same. I'm happy to Such a pussy. Yeah. I'm happy. By the way, I was doing not guilty. Out of the, before I even met you. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. You got a good face, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. This is set up yeah. all the way, to be yeah. honest with you. There's no way. Did I, I see you on J chat or whatever? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh my uh my fucking car got stolen not too long ago and they no. brought me in with the guy. They caught the guys at the same time and they brought what? me in with the fucking guy. So I'm sitting in the standing in the police department, like, what are they here for? They're like stealing his car. And I'm like, they look at me like, what dude? <laughs> I started like looking at the blacks on the wall and shit. I'm like, oh, Detective Sullivan, how you doing? <laughs> I was shitting myself. Yeah, keep the Just car. standing there next to no, them. I'm thanks. like, they live in my neighborhood. By the way, you said I was looking at the plaques on yeah. the wall? Yeah. I thought you said I was looking at the blacks Same. on the wall. <laughs> no, 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 I was like, oh, no, 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 that's no, the best no, way to approach this. I love all these blacks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. <laughs> <laughs> they all want it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, they're all the decorated month. officers. Yeah. Oh, no shit. <laughs> okay. Wait, so so what were they like kids? Yeah, 17 and 18. Yeah. And then they weren't pressing charges. They can't press By the charges. Way, when I was in New York, I did Are You Garbage? Yes. Again, I had the Thank best you. time at of the course. best fucking studio. You guys have a whole oh, impressive thing. You were trying to. You've got to go to I know. I got to go to we'll New York. We'll fly up. I was worried about to. tiptoeing around anything in here because I don't want to know uh, anything. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. You're going to have. You're going to have so much fun. I can't wait. With her level of trash. I know, I know. Oh, it's it's so good. We you also feel like you're front. hiding a lot. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Him? Which is why we want to get to her. Him? Intimidate the witness. Dude, this guy is fucking toast vanilla. Like, no, dude. Really? Dude, he's got, know. he's like. What do you think I'm hiding? Though? I don't know. But well, you got something in your eyes that says there's more back there. Well, that's darkness. It's emotional. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. He's beat us twice. But it's not trash. She's not trash. Yeah, it's not. It's, it is darkness, but it's not. Um, I'm not hiding like how I grew up or anything. Yeah, you, no. you hold yourself to a high You're classy, standard, which is well, your He's all class. He's I don't know. so class. He taught me to be classy. He's the only one that came back twice and, and was all class. Ari came back a second time to rede- redeem himself, and it, yeah, was it came even back worse. worse. It was worse. Yeah, he wore a purple suit <laughs> and ate a hard boiled egg. Oh my us. god! Yeah, Ew, yeah. that's that's. 
Shout That's out to Ari. Terrible. Yeah. Well, we're super. Oh, we did can't you? Wait. Did you have Lauren Compton on? Yeah. Just yeah, last. She just, it just How dropped last it? week. She was great. She was great. She's yeah. She was fun. Trash. Yeah. She's trash. She's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hardcore. <laughs> Insane. Hardcore. Yeah, it was really fun. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, she was a Hooters waitress. <laughs> she was? Yeah. That's how that. she got her start. She oh. thought a Chrysler Crossfire yeah, was she goes, a sports I, car. Yeah, she goes, my first check. We go, any stupid purchases? She goes, well, I did buy a sports car. We're like, okay, well, well she goes, a Chrysler Spitfire or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And we pulled up a picture. I'm like, like that's that a PT a Cruiser. Get out of here. That's hilarious. <laughs> She's like, I, I bought a sports car and I, and I got out of town and drove to LA. Well, what that, what well this reminds me. We were talking about you're going to get a car. What did you end up getting? Did you get something? I did get something. What'd you get? I got a Mercedes. Hey. Okay. Used. Okay. Pre-owned. Not, not certified pre owned. Did everything work out with the, the fucking loan? The lo- yeah. Well, I used, uh, I, you know, I bypassed the proper dealership, you okay. could say. And okay. I, I used Carvana. Okay. Uh, which gets a lot of, I, th- I think they were going bankrupt as, okay. I, as right. I was buying it. I'm like, well, if they do go bankrupt, they might pass my note to someone else. 100% And, and they I will. get it. Uh, I can settle up with them for pennies on the dollar. Sure. And uh, They will sell that debt. <laughs> sure, of course. Yeah, so they yeah. were like, they're going under, and I'm like, this might be a chance That's to get the vending machine, right? <laughs> yeah, the vending machine right. card. Dude. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. Are you so, happy with your vehicle? Yeah, I am. It's great. I got the I guess one of the smaller SUVs. Great. It's awesome. Great. It's great. 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 I'm not that happy about it. You're not? No. Why not? He's, He's got a Mercedes. Ju- yeah. And it's what? Too nice? He's too bougie now? I don't know. No, he, he's mine. mad because he doesn't have a Mercedes. Oh, I got you. What do you have? A Jeep Cherokee. Uh, Hold on, though. You can be to... garbage and still drive a Mercedes. Oh, My yeah. mother oh, 100%. was extreme Euro trash, and she drove a Mercedes. 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 Good car. Very nice. Yeah. Was it white? Car. Was it a white Mercedes? No, it was beige. Okay. Because, Close enough. But foreigners, especially Eastern Europeans, love Mercedes. Oh, They're yeah. garbage people. Charlie yeah, yeah, drives yeah. a Mercedes now. I, I got see. it for her. Mercedes. Good car. It, it wasn't that expensive. It was like, I could get like a, you know. I don't know. It was like forty grand or thirty six grand or something like that. Dude, I'm pretty sure it has flood damage Jeep or something. Jeep Cherokees but... are fucking. Rad. Yeah, I love them. I love. Yeah. And I'm happy Cherokee. for him. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, no. He's got a I've... vending machine. The fuck <laughs> no, they come and drop it off and go to a vending machine. You get a car from a vending machine? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. They did give me the option. They like mail you a token <laughs> and then you go and like put it Stop. in and pick it up or whatever. It's a claw machine. <laughs> <laughs> Just get whatever you get. What's it? So are you gonna swap? Are you gonna switch up? Are you gonna? Do something to no, no. I got a lease. It's not. It's not up for a couple of years. Oh, okay. Yeah. But when it is up, you're gonna one up them. I hope. I don't know. What? I don't know. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be very thoughtful about all this. Okay. He's yeah. So not. By the way. Okay. So I got, not. I being got jammed thoughtful. up in an apartment. You know what I see you in? I think it would be fucking like the big guy, great vehicle. Yeah. Something like a Denali. That's what know? I want. They're too That's big to have in the get, city, yeah. though. Yeah. Oh, They're yeah. way too big to have in the city. Tahoe. You can't even park. Tahoe. I like a Tahoe. Yeah. That's cool. I could see you in that. I like an Accord. Nice Honda Accord. <laughs> <laughs> sensible car. It Perfect. is a very sensible car. And they'll go for like 200,000 miles. Forever. Yeah. You remember Tell the me. old Camrys, like the 96 Camrys? I had a 95 Accord. So Woo! Those Accords were 95 yeah, Accord relentless. That you could run it forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually a great, and it drove great. I yeah. mean, everything was, was like really put together in that thing. They're great cars. Dude, yeah. my mom had a Toyota Tercel, 1980. Oh, man. And we fucking... Was it the hatchback? Yeah, bro. Those things stunk. And we... No, bro. This really? one we had from 1980, we shipped it to Budapest, kept it in an outdoor garage that during the snow and the weather and everything. And that thing ran until like the late 90s. It was crazy. What are you doing in Budapest? My family's from there. So we That's the most Eastern Europeans. You shipped a Tercel. Yeah, we shipped yeah. a Tercel. Oh, That's crazy. Jesus. Man. Yeah, because we used to have an apartment there, just like a small. And uh, so, yeah, you have your car there. So, like, my, my dad remarried to a, a Hungarian woman. So they would go, like, once a year back to Budapest. Okay. For, like, holidays. So they just sent it there to have it when they when they went back yeah. there. All right. Because, like, it's hard to come by cars in a post-communist country, too. You, you can't really just, like, buy Go cop a used car. Yeah. yeah, it's not like it is here. I mean, back then, shit, I'm sure now it's different, but. Here's a real quick, um, horrible or hilarious. This is a, just, I'll sh- show you a video. Please. You tell me, is it funny or is it sure. really sad? Okay. <laughs> Whoa! By the way, this was sent in by Connor Swindles, fan of the show. I've Thanks, actually Connor. seen that one before. You've seen it? Yeah. Yeah. What happens there exactly for the listeners? You, you want to tell like me? It's a bumper cars, right? Yeah. And yeah, he, a go-kart. Go-kart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. go-karts. And he, well, one guy pops up on him. And it severs his finger immediately. Immediately. It's like it just fell off. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually, I don't even understand how it happened. Now, at least it was a clean cut. They might even be able to read. 
I'm put sure. that back on. So the 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 description here is that this uh, the man in the video is a professional go kart racer. <laughs> There's but he's at a, a bachelor party with his friends. He says people <gasps> like to crash into him because he's a pro. Oh, and um, dickheads. Yeah, he, part of his finger or got oh. cut off. Yeah, I think the rail of the other got up and, yeah. and hit him. Yeah. yeah, it pushed down. It just like severed it on the oh! on the steering wheel. Fuck, dude. That's fucking Jesus. gnarly, dude. I think that's a Bro. full four votes for horrible. Oh. Are you stopping and going? Out? Are you getting out of that thing and, and getting getting it? No, you got to you got to get the win first. You got to get right? the checkered flag. Gotta sure. <laughs> you got to go for the gold. You goddamn yeah. professional. It's a yeah, bachelor party. Yeah, I think he's probably looking for his finger though, right? Oh, what if Man. someone ran it over? Like that's sure. like the da- dirty. That's on the floor. That's not great. But in terms of injuries on these videos, this is probably the one you want to get. It just snaps clean off, like you said. Yeah. Like, you probably don't even feel that shit there happen. Is a, there is a chance you can reattach that. For it. sure. Yeah, 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 that was like surgical. They get it on ice. I don't know. You got to get out of the park. Those you parking do. lots are huge. Who you knows do. where you park? Then you got to get to some Can't small town keys. hospital. <sighs> no, but they're pretty... I think the, the time on If you get it on ice pretty quick, yeah. now the times you have like... Uh, it, you don't need to do it in 15 I mean, minutes. it's a slushy. It's not yeah. on ice. It's, <laughs> a, it's, <laughs> in a, it's, it's in a blue raspberry <laughs> slushy. Let's do, uh, let's do this other one here. Hold Yo. on. I I see four laps. Hold on, that That might have just been a part of the show. Yeah, that was uh, that was the close. Did he make it? That looked like it smushed him. No, but he he broke through the (coughs) stage, right? Let's see. Uh, Here's the craziest part. Not only did he survive. Minor injuries and bruises to the face. That's it. <laughs> what? That means Man. it's a cheap set. <laughs> I mean, that looks like there's not a chance he survived, <laughs> but he's fine. He's definitely Holy fine. Holy fuck. Holy yeah. shit. shit. I found that the audience down. likes it a lot more when they live. I didn't know that. Oh, of course. We played yeah. a lot of these. <laughs> Fucking psychopath. And, and a lot You're of You're so unmoved by it. <laughs> so unmoved. <laughs> They're like, oh, apparently normal people what? don't he like didn't that. didn't die? Oh, yeah. This is yeah. bullshit. See, you guys were wondering what's behind these cold eyes it's that yeah it's there's not trash there you it's go. psychopathy okay <laughs> it's the darkness no the shadow oh, so you're like no here's another guy who died you have a scroll of death i do have some that are <laughs> uh, some people say they're unsettling mm-hmm. um but yeah i uh it's, a lot of people don't like it it's uh, it's very strange that one was all right um, though that was horrible That's funny. thank you did you get what is this here i don't know what this one is mm-hmm. maybe oh, oh yeah we had this one that's the machine. Oh. The machine's got this guy pinned, yeah. and then watch what happens here on the right of the screen. They're going to help this person, but then... Watch what happens here. Oh! oh. Yeah. Someone else gets pinned oh. in that machine. The panic in that factory. I can feel. And they don't have any sensors or buttons to like <laughs> yeah. emergency ones. I like the screams. I think the screams are funny, but but I you know. Okay. If, that's way that that's not that's tough for me because you just see them suffering. Yeah, like it's yeah. not just like they get hit in the head with a board or shot. In the, like <laughs> that yeah. guy's just screaming. But yeah. the, the repetitiveness of the scream <laughs> is insane. funny. <laughs> Where he's like ah. But I mean, ah. how does this not bring a smile to your face? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Packages were late that day. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. That I'm okay with. Yeah. Hysterical, and I'm going to tell you why. Second time. Oof. And he's like, he they like up. that. That's Those part videos of it. drive me. I hate that shit. These things, I, I know you love too. cars. I don't like this at all. I fucking hate that I shit. I don't like this at all. And they fucking do it at like an intersection out of nowhere. Yeah. Jam everybody up. Did you see up. the big one that just happened? With the Can truck, you yeah, the truck, With the black truck. That yes. cop no. was not fucking around. That was fantastic. It was in, was it Philadelphia? No, no, no Atlanta. It's in Atlanta. Yeah, it was in Atlanta. Um, and oh, the, the through the store. yeah, the cop does this pit maneuver. This so this guy's doing donuts at the intersection. Now the first, yeah, well that one, he does it, and you see the you see him doing donuts, and then the video is so great. That the one that uh, that was posted that that went like viral, because the person 
doesn't ever wait. You know, like a lot of these videos, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, it drops out of frame. And they're narrating the whole time. And they're like, oh, here come the cops. Yeah. And then that cop, it was like a movie. Dude. I mean, Damn. that is not the the one. But there's um there's there's great video of it where that cop jumps out like it's scripted. Comes out of nowhere, too. Yeah. He it does it in the intersection. It might be I haven't that seen anything one. about this. Uh, scroll down. It might be that one. Right, doing that shit through intersect. Run somebody oh, over. Runs people over. Yeah. Great. Man. Perfect pit maneuver. Cop jumps out. Watch this. Whoa. Jumps up. Reaches in. Narration. Drags him out, and then real quick flips him over. Cuffs Spanks him. him on the tush. Yeah. yeah, he seemed like a young kid, like a younger kid. Yeah. A couple of weeks from now, you're going to hear, Hi, I'm Andy. I like is... poetry. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I get out in a few years. Uh -huh. and uh, yeah. I like recently trucks. Relocated. Yeah, yeah recently relocated. To Arizona. I'm just getting out in eight years. Um, all right. So you got to see the boys. They are on tour, the Stay Trashy Tour. You can get tickets at areyougarbage.com. <laughs> mm -hmm. So fun. Um, as always, it's great to see you guys. Thank you, guys. Congrats so on all your so nice. We love so you both. You look fantastic. I can't wait. we got to get her in New York. I'm going to do it. I promise. Whenever. Please. Agent yeah. Jeans, book me a show. There you go. Let's go. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Peace. Watch your mom's house. Did you like it? Then watch another one. Watch our clips. I don't know. Check it out. Try it out. If you didn't like it, look for other stuff. Maybe in the next video, there's people getting hurt the way you like, or maybe gay dudes talking about dick stuff. I don't know. Try it out. Maybe dude, there's always something for everybody. Just look in these cubes, squares, whatever.